The topic under discussion is monetary policy. Moving on to what is monetary policy? Monetary policy defines the actions taken by the central bank or RBI in case of India for managing economic growth and inflation. As per the Preamble to RBI Act 1934, it defines RBI objectives to regulate the issue of banknotes and keeping the reserves with a view to securing monetary stability in India and generally to operate the currency and credit system of the country to its advantage. Now, what are the functions of monetary policy? First and foremost is to maintain economic growth and stability. It has to uh, maintain or control inflation. Then it has to reduce the impact of various business cycles and finally maintain stability of exchange rate. Now monetary policy is basically the management of money supply and interest rates in the economy by the central bank of a nation to achieve the desired set of aims as just defined. It does so by targeting the money demand by playing with interest rates. Now, RBI has various tools at its disposal to manage monetary policy. The first is the bank rate, statutory liquidity ratio, cash reserve ratio, and open market operations. Now, what is bank rate? The rate at which RBI extends credit to commercial banks is known as a bank rate. It is also called the discount rate. It is a potent tool for controlling inflation and an increase in bank rate is a disincentive for banks to borrow, thereby reducing the money supply in the economy. Now cash reserve ratio. CRR is a specified minimum fraction of customer deposits held by commercial banks with RBI. It is to ensure the banks do not run out of money and are able to meet the demands of all its depositors and it is effective in controlling money supply. Moving on to statutory liquidity ratio or SLR, it is a reserve requirement which the commercial banks in India are required to maintain as liquid assets like cash, gold, government securities, etc. The recommendations of Narsimhan committee actually brought it down to 25% from 40% in 1997. Coming to open market operations. Now these are purchase and sale of government securities by RBI from market to maintain money supply. Now this is undertaken by Market Stabilization Scheme or MSS and Liquidity Adjustment Facility or LAF. Now RBI actually sells these government securities which are purchased by banks or the commercial banks with their reserves. Now this reduces excess reserves with the banks which finally contracts money or credit supply in the economy and vice versa. Now liquidity adjustment facility, it's actually a liquidity corridor created by the difference between the reverse, uh, repo rate and reverse repo rate. Repo rate is the rate at which banks borrow from RBI with government securities as collateral and reverse repo rate is the rate at which RBI borrows from commercial banks by lending the government securities. Both these rates are decided by RBI itself. Now what is marginal standing facility? It's another tool for monetary uh, adjustments and it was created by RBI in 2011 to adjust liquidity in the economy. It is actually the rate at which banks borrow overnight funds from funds from RBI against government securities and it was created to contain situations when interbank liquidity completely dries up and interest rates are highly volatile. It is actually the rate uh, which is uh, no, the rate of borrowing in this case is higher than the repo rate. So if we finally see that the monetary stance that is RBI which functions as the monetary authority of India takes the monetary policy stance by assessing the macroeconomic and financial conditions prevailing in the country by factoring in various future risks and precautions. Thank you.